Hi Church, my name is Rob Burley, I'm part of the South Manchester location and it's my privilege today to bring the Daily Devotional. So the text for today is 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 and it reads, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Now, the last 18 months have been tough for many of us. And we've faced experiences that um, we've never faced before. In this season, there are no experts. There's, there's no human voice that can accurately guide us through these turbulent, turbulent times. And any voice of authority has been providing an opinion as to what's going to happen next. And no authoritative answer. And that can be difficult to navigate. In our house... We had a, a really tough January to March lockdown this year and then my dad uh, started to fall ill and eventually went into hospital and, and passed away at the end of June. And you know, there's been a number of issues since then. And it, it can be tough in seasons like this. Um, and the natural temptation, especially if you're a personality type like myself, is to withdraw and to sort of focus in on yourself. So whether that's withdrawing from... Uh, people around you or from God. You, you put that protective shield around you and retreat in on yourself. And yeah, whilst having some time to process your feelings and emotions can be healthy, it should not be at the expense of shutting God out. To shut God out is to withdraw from his comfort. At such a time as this, we need to lean into God, uh, the Alpha and the Omega, the one who designed the stars and the universe, and the, and the one living being who knows the end from the beginning, who knows what we're facing in the future and to whom COVID was no surprise. And he wants to stand with us and provide us comfort as we, we go through uh, the difficulties of this season. So how do we receive God's comfort? Firstly, by leaning into his word. Um, we're really blessed at Audacious with some amazing messages from some incredibly gifted preachers. So that word is always on tap. If you're feeling alone in difficulty, you can also read the Psalms. Taking the rawness and the honesty in how the psalmist talks to God about his challenges. And don't be afraid to be honest with God yourself. Um, he's certainly big enough to take it. Secondly, I'd say don't neglect meeting together. Hebrews 10 verses 20, verse 25 says, do not meet up, give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. And the second half of the scripture in 2 Corinthians talks about comforting others in trouble. And this is another key aspect in receiving comfort. As we comfort, comfort others, we receive comfort ourselves. By experience, I can say that when I shut myself away, I dwell on my issues and they become all encompassing. You know, the issue becomes bigger than my God. But when I hear that I'm not alone and others are facing difficulties too, I switch at least some of that focus onto others and their needs. And in a supportive church environment, we share each other's burdens. And as the Holy Spirit is in the midst of us, he carries that burden too. So as it says in Hebrews 10, encourage one another and that's a way of receiving comfort so final scripture matthew eleven twenty eight. 28 come to me all who you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest so next time you feel tempted to swerve church when you're having difficult times or if you feel like oh i can miss this life group session think again it might be exactly what you need to receive that comfort you're looking for Thanks very much, Church. Hope you've enjoyed today and have a blessed day.